In 1988, commercial property owners in Northwest Atlanta did something which, in hindsight, turned out to be uniquely visionary. They created the first community improvement district in Georgia. What does that mean? It means they agreed to pay higher property taxes than everyone else, all voluntarily, totaling $2 million just the first year. And now, after 25 years of paying those higher rates, their investment has surpassed $100 million. And the Cumberland Community Improvement District has leveraged that investment into an estimated half a billion dollars worth of critical infrastructure spending. That's a half billion dollars in new roads, in highway connectors and interchanges, in new bridges and pedestrian walkways, in bicycle trails, nature walks, beautification projects, and more. In 25 years, Cobb County and the Cumberland CID have accomplished so many things. It started with a 20-year master road plan, beginning with the Cumberland Boulevard Loop Road, a project that would take 16 years and hundreds of millions of dollars to complete. Then there is the $90 million Kennedy Interchange, the $27 million Windy Ridge Road, the $2 million pedestrian bridge over Cobb Parkway, $95 million in widening major commuting corridors. And just last year, an $18 million reconstruction of the U.S. Highway 41 bridge, a regional transportation project decades in the making. Um, and the environment will become an area where people can live, work, dine, shop, enjoy the Performing Arts Center, and it will evolve into truly a livable community that's accessible through a broad variety of transportation alternatives. From the beginning, the Cumberland CID has built an atmosphere that promotes growth and private investment. Currently, a major construction period is underway, connecting people and places to Cumberland's most unique treasure, the pristine parkland of the Chattahoochee National Recreation Area. What do all these improvements really add up to? 31.5 million square feet of office, retail, and multifamily space, with even more on the way. A population increase of 71% since 1970. And ride-sharing programs that have helped improve traffic flow, conserved an estimated 8,800 tons of pollution, and saved over 26 million travel miles. But of course, the biggest benefit has been to our investors. The value of Cumberland's real estate assets has grown from $1.2 to $4.2 billion. That's 350% growth. And the value of Cumberland's commercial properties has grown nearly 250%. What about the benefit to our government partners? Though Cumberland is only a small portion of Georgia's geographic area, it helps generate 5.4% of the state's economy. That's an economic impact of $22.8 billion. And to think it all started with foresight and vision. And I want to thank Tad Leafhead and Malacca Rivers, who are here today, who are ahead of the Cumberland CID, which was the first CID established under that new law 25 years ago. And if you ever go to the interchange of I-75, 285, and US-41, and just back up and take a look at the landscape, the development, the capacity of the wastewater treatment system, the roads, the interchange, and everything else, you'll know that in part you were a part of that because without the CID, none of that would have ever, ever happened. Thank you very much.